G'day guys, my name is Dave and this is going to be an in-depth tutorial for the song Taps by Justin King. I'm going to show you all of the little licks that I play and kind of walk you guys through the, the main parts of the song and the techniques involved and ultimately how I do it that'll help you improve your playing because I know sometimes just when you see the tab it can be a, bit, a little bit difficult to figure out what exactly is going on and I know when I started out I would have loved to have had somebody walk me through how to play it now before we begin we're going to be playing in dadgad tuning but I'm going to be tuned down to the key of C which means I'm going to be playing C G C F G and C and the reason why is because I like to use heavy gauge strings so I tune it down in order to relieve the tension a little bit because if I was to tune it up to the regular key of D then it would put a lot of unnecessary tension on the neck and I don't want that I like the the bass resonance for heavy gauge strings so that's just my personal preference there so if you want to follow along in that key that's fine it might make it a little bit easier to tap and to hammer on so otherwise just practice the song in the regular key of D in uh, dad get tuning we're going to begin taking our left hand and placing our first finger on the fourth fret of the first string second finger will go on the fifth fret second string third finger will go on the sixth fret third string fourth finger will go on the seventh fret of the fourth string so here's the little left hand shape we have now our right hand is going to be doing taps on the ninth fret, first and third string, and then pulling off to this chord we have on the left hand. Then we proceed to do two taps and then pull offs on the ninth fret of the second and fourth string. And of course, as we know, the song goes, there's just gonna be a lot of repetition with this. So it's gonna sound like. How I do my tapping technique here, because you might find it a little bit difficult to produce the notes, is obviously you're gonna have to push rather hard. You're gonna have to build some calluses on your first and second finger. It's not going to be comfortable at first, but eventually you won't feel pain. You'll be able to produce a nice volume in your taps. And then for my pull-offs, it's almost like I'm strumming as I'm doing a pull-off to open. Or in this case, to the left hand fretting. So I'm taking my first and second finger and almost doing like an upstroke on this area of the neck of the guitar. Now when you do the tap on the 2nd and 4th string, you'll have to be careful, you don't want to let the bottom strings ring out too much or it'll sound ugly. Now when you go through that phrase, we know that the next bit is going to be 2 taps and then pull offs on the ninth fret of the 6th and 4th string. And in this case, you once again do the swiping up stroke. And then you proceed to go back to playing. Now after playing that a bunch of times, we're then going to keep our left hand in the correct formation that we had before. And we're going to take our second finger and hammer on to the fifth fret of the sixth and fifth string. Now, it might be a little bit difficult at first. This is what Justin King does. But if it takes a little getting used to that, then for the time being, you can try just doing it on the sixth string like this. And he's doing the hammer on, first of all, just on the one beat. Then on the fourth phrase, he does it two times. He'll do it on the ninth fret tap of the first and third string. And then, 
And then we finish with just a bunch of those taps again. And then as we finish, as we do the last tap on the second and fourth string and pull off, we then do a pull off with our left hand. And we begin the next riff, which is... Here's what's going on here. We're gonna start with tapping the 12th fret of the fifth string. Pull off to open. Left hand plays fourth fret and then fifth fret. And then our right hand taps the 10th fret of the fifth string, slides down to the ninth fret. Pulls off to the fifth fret where our left hand, second finger, is already placed. Our first finger on the left hand hammers on to the fourth fret of the fourth string. Then our right hand taps the ninth fret of the fourth string, slides down to the seventh fret. After doing the slide down, from the ninth to the seventh fret on the fourth string, we pull off and then we do a hammer on to the fourth fret, the third string, and then finish with tapping seventh fret of the third string. Pull off to open third string, and then we're gonna do flicking down with our right hand. Maybe you can hit the second string as well, it should sound fine. Starting with our first finger on the second fret of the first string, hammering on to the fourth fret with our third finger, pulling off to the second fret, pulling off to open. It's gonna be a quick little lick there. So, from the beginning. And then we do this lick. What's going on here with our left hand? We're going to do 2nd fret, 6th string, and then hammer on to the 4th fret. As we do this, our right hand is going to tap the 7th fret on the 2nd and 4th string. And then we do it again, and then as we do the hammer on to the 4th fret with our left hand, we slide to the 9th fret with our right hand. And then the next lick is going to be a left hand is going to go uh, fifth string, second fret hammer on, hammer on to the fourth fret of the fifth string, and then one more hammer on to the second fret. So, and then our right hand does this as we tap, as we hammer on to the second fret. Our right hand taps the seventh fret, first and third string. As we hammer on to the fourth fret, we slide to the ninth fret again. And then back to tapping the seventh fret on the first and third string. And then pulling off to open with our right hand. So. Then we do the first phrase again. And then we finish with this. What's going on here? We're going to tap the ninth fret on the sixth string, pull off to open. That's going to be walking from the fourth fret hammer on, fifth fret, seventh fret. First finger, second finger, pinky. We do the same thing, only now on the fifth string. And then we tap the ninth fret on the 4th string, pull off to open 4th string, hammer on to the 4th fret of the 4th string, and then pull off to open. Alright, so now from the beginning we have... Then, 
Okay, so then you repeat that and then for the outro or at least going into the chorus, like the pre-chorus riff, we repeat that three times. Sorry, four times. Well, you end it like that and then Justin King does that little lick right there. After doing the ninth fret on the fifth string tap, pull up to open, and then hammer on to the fourth and then fifth fret, and then harmonic slap. He does like a quick little triplet lick there, in which open fifth string, fourth fret, fifth fret, harmonic slap. Alright, so this takes us to the chorus riff now. Let's take a look at what we're playing. We're going to be doing this. So here's what I'm playing. I do a little bit of a variation from Justin King and this is just my preference on how to play it. Uh, Justin King does it kind of similar, a little bit different. All right, so we're going to begin by doing a tap on the 7th fret on the 2nd and 4th string. As we do this, our left hand hammers on to the 5th fret of the 5th string. Then we slide to the ninth fret. So, pull off and then hammer on again to the 5th fret, 5th string. And then after doing the hammer on to the 5th fret, 5th string again, I slap the neck of the guitar, it's like a dead note, so. And then I get ready to play a tap on 7th fret, 1st and 3rd string. I pull off to barring the 4th fret on the bottom 3 strings. Once again doing that slide when we do the pull off. Sliding down to the 2nd fret on those bottom 3 strings. Then, slapping the open three strings, top three strings, hammering onto the second fret. So, and then, what's going on here is we tap ninth fret, first and third string, slide down to the seventh fret. And then we proceed to swipe, pull off to the fourth fret again, bottom three strings, sliding down the second fret, and then to open. So, and then you can do like seventh fret harmonics after that. Okay, so. Then, here's what I play that's slightly different from Justin King. I'll go... Alright, so here's what's going on. My left hand is going to do a hammer-on on the 9th fret. I like to use my 2nd finger. And then I tap the 12th fret, 1st string. Pull off. I hammer-on to the 9th fret, 1st string. You could try using your first and second finger for this. I like to use my second and third finger though. After doing a hammer on, we pull off again to open first string and then we tap 12th fret, second string. So. And then, we're gonna do a hammer on to the fifth fret on the sixth string. At the same time that we do this, we do a hammer on with our third finger, left hand. 7th fret, 1st string, so. And then we tap ninth fret, 1st string, pull off to open, so. Hammer on again to the 7th fret, 1st string. Tap again the ninth fret, 1st string. Pull off to open, and then finish with one more hammer on, 7th fret, and then pull off, so. Okay, so that's... more. Alright, and then we 
finish with sliding from 7th fret tap, 2nd string, to the 9th fret. As we do this, we hammer on to the 5th fret of the 5th string. So, pull off, hammer on again to the 5th fret, 5th string, and then, and then we tap the 9th fret, 2nd string, and then we finish with, going to be 4th fret, 5th string, as we tap 7th fret, 2nd string, and then 5th fret, 5th string, tapping 9th fret, 2nd string, and then we finish with strumming top strings. So, from the beginning, And there you have it. Then you just repeat those phrases and mash them all together. And that's how you play taps. Well, that's how I play taps, which is very similar to Justin King's variation. Hope that tutorial helps you guys out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.